The CRM has been a big question mark in The Walking Dead for a long time. Even with shows like Fear and World Beyond trying to flesh it out, there's still a lot that we don't know about the CRM. Today I'm going to go over everything we know about the CRM, so if you don't know what that is, or if you just want a refresher before The Walking Dead starts back up again, then this is the video for you. I'm going to go over every reference and actual glimpse of the CRM in The Walking Dead, and talk a bit about what we've seen in both Fear and World Beyond on before I talk about the infamous Rick Grimes. But first, if you're new around here, I'm the Thrifty Typewriter and I make all kinds of videos on all things fantasy, mystery, and sci-fi, so if that sounds like stuff that you like, consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my Discord for all kinds of Walking Dead conversations, be on the lookout for two new videos every week, and let's get on with the video. For those that don't know, the CRM stands for Civic Republic Military, and they're, as we know it, the largest organization or group in the Walking Dead universe. They have over 400,000 people, including Rick Grimes, a military, guns, helicopters, you name it, they probably have it. Think the Commonwealth, but four times the size of that. They're also searching for a cure, but we'll get into that later. Speaking of helicopters, I feel like that's a good place to start. Whether it was intended or not, the CRM has been set up way back during Season 1 and throughout the series with Rick seeing helicopters. While some of the helicopters spotted have not been part of the CRM, such as the helicopter in season one, which was part of the military group that the governor gunned down, helicopters have always represented the CRM. In later seasons, the helicopters have always been spotted as a foreshadowing to Rick's departure in the show. The CRM has not been mentioned once in the main show since Rick's departure, and notice how not a single helicopter has been spotted since. That is, if you don't count the main title sequence. There are five times that we see a helicopter in the series. I should say working helicopter because there's a few other ones too, but five times and Rick has a hand in seeing most of them. There's the one in the very first episode that Rick tries to chase and it leads him into a horde, which is probably the same helicopter we see in season two that leads the horde to Herschel's farm, which is the same group that eventually gets gunned down by the governor. But there's really no confirmation that this helicopter is the same one that carries the people that get killed by the governor. So was this the CRM following Rick from the very beginning? No, it's not, I'm kidding, but it very may well be a CRM helicopter. The CRM must have been created at the very beginning of the outbreak, so for all we know, this could be the very first sighting of the CRM. But probably the most significant helicopter sighting comes in Season 8, when Rick sees the helicopter passing overhead as he's on the way to the trash people. This sets up a number of things, number one being that the trash people and the CRM have a connection. This is only further confirmed when Jadis tries to trade Negan, Gabriel, and finally Rick to the CRM. RM. Jadis is successful in trading Rick to the CRM, and we haven't seen him since, but we have seen Jadis, but more on that later. Jadis tells the CRM that Rick is a B, even though they're looking for an A. What does this mean? Well first, let's look back at all the hints of A's and B's throughout the series. In Season 4, Episode 16, titled A, we see that the train car Rick and the group are trapped in was titled with an A. Since then, we've seen it on Rick's hand in Alexandria, on Daryl's prison clothing at the Sanctuary, and the crate that Jadis uses to trade people. A lot of this may not be related, but the recurring symbol of A is obviously prevalent throughout the series. This brings me to my discussion on Heath. Heath is obviously no Rick Grimes or Maggie or Michonne, so a lot of people may not remember that Heath just vanished in the show. He was last seen in Season 7, Episode 6, where he got separated from Tara, but when he was separated, we saw his glasses were broken and tire marks were left at the scene. Now, him and Tara were separated by a group of walkers, so his glasses could have been knocked off and he could somehow have gotten into a car and drove off. But if that's the case, why didn't Heath return to Alexandria? The running theory is that Jadis found and kidnapped Heath and traded him to the CRM. Is there any weight to this theory? Well, not a whole lot other than where in the hell did Heath go? Whether this was intentional or not, I think the masterminds behind the world of The Walking Dead have realized the fanbase is questioning where Heath is, and I think they'll connect it to the CRM. If Jadis traded Heath to the CRM as an A, then he's probably a goner, and let me explain to you why. In The Walking Dead World Beyond, we get a better insight into the CRM. We learn that an A is somebody who has recently been turned, and a B is presumably a future worker or soldier of the CRM. We see someone who is an A getting treated and worked on to try and cure them. 
When Jadis trades Rick, she tells the CRM that he's a B. But in World Beyond, we learn that Jadis lied about this to prevent Rick from being a test subject. But she also says that in order to gain her position of power, she traded something of high value to the CRM. So just from this conversation, we learn that Rick is a high-valued asset of the CRM. Whatever it is he may be, a soldier, worker, or perhaps he has the gene that makes him immune to the Walker virus. Now, that is pure speculation, there's nothing that hits to that in the show or anything, but it would certainly make him a high value prospect of the CRM. In Fear the Walking Dead, we see the CRM in Season 5 in an episode titled Here to Help, which in and of itself gives us a lot of insight towards the CRM. The Walking Dead takes place in Virginia, but Fear the Walking Dead takes place in Texas, and we've seen the CRM in both places. This is quite a large region of the US for one group to reside in, so the question is, where is the base of the CRM? Well, a while ago, we got a teaser for the Rick Grimes movie or movies, and we saw a city in the background, a city that looks a lot like Philadelphia. So if the CRM's home base is in Philly, and they go as far as Texas, where else could they go? Could they go to France, where we see this new variant of Walker known as a runner? With the Daryl and Carol, or I guess just Daryl spinoff taking place in England, I think it's not too far of a stretch to assume that they might have connections all around the world. The CRM is the biggest organization in the Walking Dead universe, and what we've seen of them is only the tip of the iceberg. We know that they have Rick Grimes, whether he's with them willingly or unwillingly is yet to be seen, but I bet a lot of money that we're we're going to at the very least hear of the CRM in the remainder of season 11 so that they can set up the spin-off shows and maybe even Rick Grimes returning to The Walking Dead. With the CRM and how much is unknown about them, it really seems like the end of the proper show could be a brand new beginning into exploring the CRM era of the universe, where we get a really good idea of what they're planning, how they're doing it, and where Rick Grimes is. We're at this time in the fandom where a lot is up in the air. There's dozens of theories about the CRM, and I hope this video gave you some good insight about them and you learned something you didn't already know. Let me know your thoughts and theories on the CRM in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like and subscribe for more Walking Dead content. If you do, then I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.